Christmas introduced the notion of lectometry and how it relates to the standardization debate. So that's the, the Jewish uh, 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 first methodological step. Then I'll remind you of what it means to use onomasiological variation as a variable in sociolinguistic studies. That's the direct link with what we did a couple of days ago. Then uh, I will combine uh, the method and the onomasiological perspective, and we'll see or we'll arrive at a formal definition of informalization and ask the question then, what's happening in practice? And I'll apply that to the evolution of contemporary Dutch. Yeah, and then there's a brief take home message when you're required to. Okay, this is um, If people worry about the formal language or polite language getting informal, then that is a question that is related to standardization processes. And if you, if you look at existing theories about standardization in the, uh, uh, specifically in the Western European languages, then there are two interesting views that we can start with. One is uh, expressed by Peter Auer, and he has an idea about the long-term development of standard languages in Europe. And then there is uh, Dora Christensen, who um, adds something to that in terms of recent development in highly standardized languages. So the uh, picture that is sketched by Iowa takes the following form. He takes a starting point in what would be, if you wish, um, a medieval situation. A medieval situation in which you have base dialects on the one hand, the local dialects, then on the other hand, what he refers to as an exoglossic standard language. Exoglossic because it's not based on the base dialects, and of course, in, uh, in the Middle Ages, that would be Latin. In the Western Middle Ages, that would be Latin. Then, at one point, and that's what's happening in the early modern period, the exoglossic standard is replaced by endoglossic standards, so standards, uh, standard languages that relate to uh, the base dialects, like picking up a certain, uh, a certain form of phrase.